put TJ in uh, because y'all beat him in Arkansas. Plus, you know the guys and the coached him, you know. Well, I, I don't know, fun. You know, we, we I, I tried to ignore the fact of who it was. Just you know, I'm not I'm not real real happy about the, the fact that he left. You know, two years ago, it wasn't a situation that I was all that pleased with. Um, so I just try to ignore who it was and not get too wrapped up in that. It was just a factor of, uh, you know, he was the pitcher for the other team and we needed to get to him. And, uh, well, I, said he's goofy, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't, uh, you know, I thought we were having real good swings against him. We were hitting a lot of balls hard. We were just having a lot of bad luck. Balls were going right at people. We were just slightly missing them and skying them out instead of smoking them in the gap. And I just knew if we just stayed after him that he was the kind of pitcher that we can feast off of. And eventually we got to him and we knocked him out and broke the game open. Hey, what, what makes DJ a natural second base? I don't know. He just he's, First of all, he's a very skilled athlete. He's got that good baseball skills. But as far as specifically second base, he just he adapted to the position very, very well. I think his range has improved at second base because he hasn't had to worry about the long throw as much. And uh, he's been obviously very, very steady. He's been very, very steady, and, uh, you know, I'm just, just really proud of the way he's done it.